Well, it's Saturday morning of the Minnesota deer season opener. As you can see, I'm hunting no deer. Fed the cows. We got kind of a warm south wind. It's 42 degrees. It's by no means early. We did have frost this morning. So I'm cleaning up building garbage around here and got to move some stuff and put my ladders away and I got a couple other projects requiring ladders but just cleaning up the area here and then the sand is gonna I need like two loads to get by my calculation the level I'm supposed to there but I got some posts a little bit settling on the, the dirt settled a little bit on the inside yet now that we got some moisture running off the roof so we're gonna put this load in here for this winter and we got to put the temporary panels up and get the fence tied into this somehow but we got decent weather at least till next weekend there's chances of small amounts of rain but that's no big deal see how's the rye look on the screen huh eh, not bad it got big enough the deer are starting to hit it there was probably 20 last night you see how many there are now I'm sure there'll be some in there tonight but It's not a whole lot worse than it was this time last year now we had that really weird warm winter and actually it was as far as I was concerned it was detrimental but the deer pound that around in it all winter long making just a mud pit out of it eating every green blade they could find and it still grew uh, 21 bales on this just over four acre piece here so whatever so I'll continue with my project here made probably 10 clips oh yeah I gotta pin that flappy tin down on the barn there too that's just gonna get a couple boards over it for now yeah I'm a little low in the middle here I'm getting I'm getting barns Rest. Trying to do as much of this as I can with the loader up to the edges, but I really don't want to bash a hole in my wall, eh? It's going all right, though. I got to get off and do a little bit of little shovel work here. The sand pile is getting smaller. Then I suppose we'll start with the panel stuff. Nice sand. I gotta get more of this. Next year we'll need a bunch of it. I'm not sure what pit he's getting it out of, but my local guy, I work with him. Does sand and gravel and driveways and septic systems. Good guy to know. Well, this tractor's been sitting here since I planted the rye I have no idea if we're gonna go we're approaching 50 degrees I think so I don't know let's see what she does I'd give it a shot at a vitamin E, but I don't have any in the little injector. 
I hate to stop, I should, but... All right, well, we'll let that warm up and I'll get rid of this disc and sand's pretty well in there. I'm gonna shuffle a couple other things around here and then see if somebody wants to help me put them panels up on a wall in there. Uh, here's another tractor that hasn't run since I spread the manure. I'm actually taking the been sitting next to the garage with the spreader on it. Carb's a little loaded up, I don't know why. But this is gonna go in the new barn on the north end until calving. I'm just gonna stick it here for now. Got stuff laying all over the place in this shuffle. Well, we weren't getting very good video of small dog in the house, so we'll come get small dog out the house. All right, well, it doesn't stay put. Hello, say hi to the people. Yeah, once I chew the buttons off my shirt all the time. You know, I ain't a very smart YouTuber because this old sauna really ain't worth anything. I mean, the roof is shot. Cody's got some engines and transmissions and stuff in there, but the bottom of the frame's kind of rotted out and the walls are kind of rotted out and it's just more or less unrepairable. Um, it's good for growing raspberries, that's it. But I had this red pine dying off the corner of the dog kennel there. So the trick was, Yeah, I'll explain why I'm not a very good YouTuber. First of all, I didn't even show cutting the tree. That was ridiculous. But, I mean, you can see my stump. I got the dog pen right there and the sauna right there. I cut some of the lower limbs off of it first and then I left a lot of wood on this side to pull it away from the dog pen if them few dead branches brush that rough big deal but here's where i'm dumb uh given the value of that building and the fact that i'm probably going to get rid of it anyway i should have put the notch right there set the camera up on a tripod and i could have had a hundred thousand views smashing my sauna you know make it look like incompetence people watch that so what i'm going to do here the butt of that needs uh, to be split to fit in the boiler. It's not going to fit their burn very well. So I've never had a video of the wood splitter. So we're going to split a few red pine with the $50 wood splitter. Well, I'm not at the point yet where I'm uh, forgetting about GoPros and pieces of equipment for months on end like some channels. But... Uh, this tripod was in a 4230. I was looking all over for it. So let me get this set up and we'll split a couple pieces of wood. All right, so I got this wood splitter. Frame, cylinder, valve, hoses, wedge. Assembled from a guy. He built it and was going to run it off a tractor and never did. So. If you notice the color on that uh, tongue right there, that is uh, the front axle of the roller when it was a cultimulture with disc blades on the front. And the axle was free off an old horse trailer. So, we'll uh Split a couple of pieces of wood.
you go. Good thing I didn't hit with that with the saw. We got a little artifact there. Looks like, uh, I don't know what it is. Why is the screw right here? Somebody probably had a birdhouse or something on there. All right, well, there's only a handful more to do, so I will do them. 4230's got a lot more volume. I normally split with that at a idle. It's faster than this by far. If I put too much throttle to this, it chatters. I don't know if it's because of that closed center John Deere system. Doesn't like that valve or what the deal is, but 4230 at an idle works a lot nicer. That's closed center also, of course, but it, uh, I don't know, I think it's the, I think it's the flow rate. Hey, hey, quit eating that blanket. Hey, you, Riley, Riley. Look at the people. Oh, yeah. You are the most unfilmable dog ever. There you go. There you go. Here. Show the people how cute you are. Oh, yeah. She has such a pretty spotted nose. Hey. Yeah. Don't bite my finger. <laughs>